This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Vaughn back here with another episode of Vandal Hearts. In the last episode, we had to uh, take care of a riot in the royal, royal ghetto. Unfortunately, the army had other plans for all them, taking the blue blood Count Claymore for their own, for whatever reason, and killing everyone else off. It was quite a massacre. There wasn't much we could do. But uh, to keep ourselves away from this political hodgepodge, we've been we're sent off to a mission to deal with the location of General Magnus Dunbar. Will we be able to find him? Well, let's start our adventure. But anyway, after the last episode, we got that longbow. Let's give that to um, Diego there, and we'll go and sell. Go to the shop and sell that uh, uh, old one. I mean, it gives us a little bit of money. Nothing crazy, but hey, it saved us some money by not buying it. And really, the, the damage percent, or the plus one difference between it, wasn't going to be that big of a deal, because like I said, Diego could kill those guys in one shot anyway, so it wasn't going to affect anything. So, there you go. Um, there's, I think the rest of the game has a few more handfuls of, like, uh, items, uh, weapons you can get from that. But for the most part, we're actually not going to get... This is, like, one of the few times where you get equipment early from, like, random stuff. But after a while, it's going to be... We'll have to either straight up buy it or, or certain situations will occur. I'm just trying to decide if I want to fill their inventory up. Nah, I think we'll be fine. Okay. I was just thinking about filling it with herbs and stuff like that. But, uh, all right, let's move on. Uh, first, let's see if anyone else has anything to say. Maybe we can go back to HQ. Nope. How about the tavern? And yeah, the dojo doesn't have anything new at all, so... Welcome, how you doing? Okay. We need a powerful man to fix this country. Someone like Hell Spites who knows how to crack down the bad guys. Yeah. Sometimes people just want that. It's true that Hell has been tough on crime, but some might feel this country's going in the wrong direction. Yeah, like every country, I guess. It's not just politicians that are to fall for this country's problems. People came together to overthrow the Asha dynasty, and afterwards they had no direction and fell into complacency. That's actually quite true in a lot of societies, especially societies that have relative peace for the most part, is that they just kind of let everyone else handle stuff for them. It's like, a demo it's like democracy in general. If you're not active in it, it eventually just wears down, which, unfortunately, that's kind of like my country, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to... Although, with this game being more mature, I can talk about those scenes if I want to, but I don't want to ruin people's fun of watching this playthrough anyway, so. But anyway, let's go to the Castle of Ruins. Why? Because it's on the way. And we have to stop here for... You know why. You played a strategy RPG before. You know the reason for going every, to every single map. This is the palace of the Asha Dynasty. Fifteen years ago, when Eris' army arrived here, this magnificent palace was burned to the ground. Even now, when it grows dark, the spirits of the dead haunt this place. Hey, cut it out! You're giving me the creeps! Go back where you came from... Said that. Eek! <laughs> Didn't expect Diego to have such a screech. That curse will befall who enter. Don't be silly. Nothing to be afraid of. Fools die then if you wish. What is that, a threat? Whoa, that's a threat. Uh-oh. Monsters! How do people keep... Why Are there wizards just hiding in the backdrop, just waiting to summon things? They're like, ooh, here come some adventures. Anyway, yeah, battle conditions, defeat everyone. Ash loses. Okay. Anyway, we got, we got new units. Uh, now we got heavy units. The shield indicates, like... I don't know if it shows here, but... Uh, as you can see in the characters, there's a little moniker that's supposed to, like, above their names. That shows, like... Oh, uh, that says... That shows a bow and arrow. That shows a sword or whatever. But yeah, that's basically their class or, or style. So these are sword characters, bow characters. These golems are shield characters. We don't have any magic, so we can't take advantage of that fact. Oh, well. Um, okay. This one, I think it's only the treasure chest. I don't believe there's any actual... Uh, oh, no, there's there's the one here. There's one there. I think that's it, actually. This one, only, I think, only has like one secret spot in the whole map. Yeah. Uh, in the two treasure chests. Um, also, there's a new feature on the map, which is these uh, boulders right here. These are, like, environmental things we can affect, as well as this box here. We'll get to that when we get to that. I don't know if I'll be able to use this rock, but I should be able to use this one for sure. But anyway, let's uh, take these guys out. First, we want to, uh, obviously, weaken this guy before, before anything else. Yeah, take him out. I think, yep. I knew he was going to get old just because of that, but, uh, alright. We definitely want to make sure... Uh, oh. What's his movement range? Would he be able to get behind Clint if I do that? Yeah. Okay. I'll have to attack him from the... 
Oh. Crap. Well then. Because if I do that, Clint's going to get hit by behind. And I don't want him to get punched. Ugh. Last cash move? No. But if I don't finish him off, he's going to uh, do more damage. Because you don't want to, you want to finish off keep people as you do. So, all right. I guess, I guess, uh, uh Clint's just gonna get hit from behind. I think I remember having to use a herb in this fight for the most part. Like it's almost impossible not to, just because of the damage these golems do, and we don't have a magic user. I mean, technically, I could use the mushroom on these guys to poison them, but I like to save that for like bosses that have like a lot of HP and stuff like that. Yeah, I didn't, the reason I didn't go with Clint first and then Ash to finish him off is I didn't want Clint to get hit twice. Because I think, if I remember correctly, his defense isn't as high as... Yeah, is that... For whatever reason, Clint's def... Well, maybe it's the levels. Okay, it's the levels. Never mind. I was about to say, I don't... Uh, Clint's stats shouldn't be that much different from... At least until level 10 and onwards, and you'll know why when we get to that point. Yeah, unfortunately, it won't block either, because he's, he's doing some damage. Yeah, these guys just pack a pack a wall. That's usually why I want um, Ash to be kind of taking the hits first. Um, which is why um, you want to um, you want Ash to... What, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have uh, have the party split for a reason, but we'll get to... Uh, I just don't like attacking from the front half of the time because of the, the ability to possibly miss. But... Yeah, usually you want you want Diego to always attack first in most cases, so that way you weaken your enemy and then you have someone else finish him off. I was about to say hopefully they don't. Yeah, unfortunately these guys don't have blood, so we're not gonna get our famous like blood everywhere moment, you know. <laughs> so it's rocks in this case. Alright, how far did this game move? Yeah, we just stay here. I'm not gonna have uh, Ash go in front and get hit for no reason. He's gonna come after us anyway. I'm glad they make the the like enemies like theme music or whatever you want to call it kind of catchy without being too long because you basically hear it for the rest of the game. So obviously you 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 want something that's kind of catchy but not annoying. You know what I mean? That's always the tough decision in uh in games like that. Is I don't uh, how much damage did Ash do? I don't think it was enough to finish him though. But he can heal if it comes down to it. Okay. I thought he did like 30 something, so. Alright, and then we'll want to. I don't want to go too far ahead with Clint, because I want Clint and Diego to go this way, so. This fight might go pretty quickly. I might even be able to get some another battle out of the way if I go quick enough. I want. Uh, well, until we hit a certain point, then we'll have to have just almost one battle per, per episode, but. The only reason the first battles went, or the first couple episodes went as long as they did is, like well, I said, I was explaining anything, and I, I was dicking around a little bit, that type of thing, but uh, by this point, we should be, um, I'm trying to think if I want to go ahead and heal. I usually want to get hit once or twice before I, before I do that, so, okay. These guys are coming after us. I was hoping not to bring both of them, like, back to back, but, you know, I'll have to, what's his move at? I'll just have to move back one. Maybe I should have not have moved Ash so far away because I was going to split them off there, but this might have been too early to do that. Oh well. I'll probably end up, yeah, I'll probably end up having to, uh, um, end up having to use an herb on Clint. I probably should actually... Well, it's... Yeah, he couldn't even get around even if he wanted to in one turn anyway, so... Yeah, we we'll can we'll weaken them out. Yeah, maybe I split the party a bit too soon. Because I'm pulling this guy. I'll, uh... I'll get Ash over there just to help out. Just in case. If you know if you know kind of generally the attack patterns on enemies, you can sort of should be able to kind of figure it out after like figure out how to fight. Like 
Yeah, we, we're about at the right level because you can tell I'm not getting a ton of experience from them, so. Alright, time to data to do a little extra damage. Oh. <laughs> Might not be able to finish him off. Maybe. Okay, I keep forgetting the bash can do 30 or 31. Can I get behind him? No. Well, we'll take the risk, I guess. Because they can't, the, 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 the golems can't walk. It is possible, so. It didn't take too much damage. Yeah, if you know the game mechanics, it goes by pretty smoothly. And obviously you don't want Diego standing like right in front of the dudes and, and attacking them, you know. Of course, now that Ash is too far away, he's probably not going to be able to finish him off in that one hit. Nope. Alright. I guess it means whatever direction they're at doesn't affect the... Um, uh, doesn't affect the damage as long as you hit them from at, at any point they don't block. So, yeah, elixirs. We're going to need that... Uh, I think the next fight I'll need, the next battle I'm actually going to need an elixir, so. Yeah, the next fight we do need an elixir, so. Oh, I moved, oh, I moved too far. That's, um, what I'm, maybe if I, hold on, I moved too far ahead, dang it. Uh, what you're supposed to do at this point is, um, get Ash to pull all the enemies, um, I'm here, but I think I moved too far, so I'm wondering if I can I might not be able to because basically I want the, all these guys to come up this way, but I might have pulled that one guy too soon oh well, I can still take him out, but that's kind of annoying yeah, this, is what, this is what happens when I, I break my strategy a little bit yeah, oh well I'll leave Ash there for like one more turn. And the thing is, like the point of this rock is you're supposed to be able to like kick it on them and do damage, but I can almost never get these guys to move on this edge. They always move to this side. So this rock, if you wanted the rock to actually be useful for this fight, it should have been shifted to here. Because the enemy, well, I mean, it's possible to get them over here, but it's almost, I've almost never gotten it to do it without being super disadvantaged. Uh, you know what I mean. Anyway, um, but yeah, so. Um, oh, well. I yeah, probably should. I'll definitely have to heal with Clint at some point, because Clint just can't do... Well, oh, let's see. What's Ash's? 38. What's your attack at? Is not like 30? Yeah. You should... You know, now that she's he's at that level, he should be able to just uh, do that, so I don't know. Now I'm just double checking something really quick. Okay, yeah, that's just making sure. Uh, but yeah, I was about to say Clint might not be able to finish off, but it was like, you know what? Now, now that he's the same level as Ash, he should have a similar attack bonus or attack name. Oh, well, never mind. He's not gonna be able to. Um, I don't want to. I definitely don't want to attack because of because uh, then he won't have the HP. So and you're probably going to be able to get to Ash by this point. Yeah. Okay. Well, this battle is definitely not going exactly how I wanted to, but but it's not going to break anything. I basically wanted the three golems to be chasing me because it is possible if you. What I should do is I probably should have had a um, Ash go ahead and stay split up instead of instead of changing my mind on that. Because you're supposed to, what you're supposed to do is try to pull all three golems where everyone's moving right now, and then you're supposed to have Diego and um, uh, Clint get to this before these guys get over there. So you're basically just having Ash run away from these guys, you know, run away, run away, you know, that type of situation. So, but luckily I am pulling them, so they're not, they're still going that way. Uh, what's your level at? So six. You have more of a chance of being a level, but. And I'll let Clint do it. Alright, anyway, this spot has a fire gem. Yeah, we don't have to spend that 2,000 gold. Um, 
I mean, probably the idea of that was to probably use it on the golems if you're having quite a bit of trouble with them, uh, because of them being uh, heavy units or, or arm. I guess they're technically called armor units. I just like calling them heavy units. That seems to make more sense. Um, but yeah, then as soon as you get them going around, Clint and Diego get the chest, and then then after they do that, then you gang up on the final ones. And if you make your moves correctly, you could possibly get... Now this rock, most likely the golems will run into it, because as you can see, there, there's a block there. Uh, there's no, like... You, if they could move that way, they probably would move around the rock. But um, they have to, at least at the start of their turn, have to go through that like little hole there. Um... And so, most likely, if you do th if things go pretty well, um, you're going to be able to hit. B I think I've gotten both of them hit by that rock, or at least two of them. When I got two of them to chase me, anyway. But yeah, the things are a little bit closer than I would have liked to, but that's how that's how these games roll, baby. Sometimes you're just gonna you're just gonna get the unlucky chance that maybe you accidentally hit uh, activate certain characters sooner than others. They might have a turn. Um, the Gauls may have a turn like limit, like as soon as it hits this turn, they start moving anyway. Because uh, they did seem to move, even though it wasn't really that close to them. Yeah, that guy's a, that's a pretty decent move range, actually. Yeah, I hope they'll be able to get to the chest in time. I mean, it's not like anything, it's, it's not anything major, but I still want to get it, you know what I mean? I think I should be able to get to it before. Luckily, the, uh, because of the, the, the jumping, uh, the like movement difference on height difference on these, it does slow you down. So it should be able to get to me. Oh, we can. Oh, wow. Okay. I should have. Well, the problem is, is that if I clicked on the move thing here, I wouldn't uh, have been able to tell like where he was moving at. So because it would have blocked here because of me. So oh well. So yeah, this definitely isn't working. I could have swore he'd only be able to get to the. That he'd have to stop at that step. Oh, well. Yeah, definitely not the perfect run of this fight, but I never said I was going to try to make these perfect, so... Oh, yeah, and there's a... Because of the height difference, Ash does more damage um, while standing on the... Uh, uh... Yeah, see, right here, you're supposed to be able to, like... But now that I know, like, how they're moved, he's probably not going to stand in front of the boulder. The boulder does... I'm not sure if it's supposed to be half damage or just 28 damage specifically. I'm not actually sure. Oh, and as far as I understand, the um, the golems will not actually push the rock. So they won't actually, like, oh, uh, if you want to push the box, just just do the push mechanic there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be cutting it close for getting that uh, chest, that's for sure. All right. Man, that's kind of disappointing, actually. That it, uh... I thought he had a thumb move. Okay, so I can actually push it. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get the uh, get to that or not. Uh, yeah, too bad you can't attack the box from there and get the experience. Oh, well. Alright, let's uh, push the rock. I push it the rock! And that does, yeah, half damage. Uh, so I don't know if it's actually 28 damage or it just does half half of his HP. I'm not actually sure. Whoops. I actually want to go and heal. I know I got only got one more heal left, but because of how much damage both of them have, they're not going to have enough HP for a counterattack. So hopefully, yeah, I will, I'll be able to get to the chest and everything. So lucky for me. That makes him eight, right? Yeah, see, we're almost, we're... We should hit level... That should hit, like, level 10 at least by the final battle of this chapter or right afterwards. But usually I get him level 10 by the final... At least by the final battle of chapter 1, anyway. Uh, but, yeah, anyway. So, A, just need a couple more levels. Probably give it give the kill to Diego since he's pretty close. Because Ash is already pretty high level, so it's him killing the dudes. Because they're level 6, so... I need you to... I think it's Herb, I think. Yeah. Yeah, technically if you do it right, you probably never have to actually ever actually buy Herbs until maybe like near the end of the game. But even then, you'll probably have a better healing on it by that point anyway, because Herbs only heal up to uh, 50 HP. Yeah. 
Say, I think the fairy light spell like that too. I think it heals like 50 plus, but I don't think it's much more than that. Sure. Looking for you. Yeah, I'll probably have Diego finish him off if he can, because he's going to be the closest to gaining a level. Even though the next battle is going to be pretty, pretty easy for him to get the experience. So and I don't even think I don't think um, I don't think Clint would be able to get over there anyway. Yeah, he's. Oh, well, you can't, well, let's see. No, you can't kill her. Um, actually, most of them are going to get the experience by that turn anyway, so... Yeah, we'll just, we'll just finish them off. Or at least do enough damage to them anyway. Not close. And then whoever he attacks... I'm just going to let him attack whoever, and they'll counterattack and kill him off. Hopefully it's Clint, but if it's Diego, I'm fine with that too. Because Diego can take the hit. Now, if it was another hit, then yeah, that'd be bad. I should level him up, right? Yeah. Yay! Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty roughly easy to, to keep your levels pretty consistent with each other. As long as you're paying attention. And for and for um and for items like those fire gems, you probably want to keep them more on your um, non-magic characters. Hey, who are you? Where'd you come from? My clay golems. Those are yours? What, are you Jewish? No, well, if you understand the golem uh, myth, all, yeah, whatever. That doesn't sound like the same voice. So this is the one who created the golems. How long did it take you to do that? Huh, I guess we'll never know. That was a pretty vicious thing to do. You're the vicious ones. Trying to make my daddy into a traitor. Daddy? Who are you? Elena Dunbar, daughter of Magnus Dunbar. Not oh, convenient to find her daughter here. Why aren't you at Gilbaris Island or whatever? General Dunbar? But it seems that you're misinformed. We're just trying to... Miss Elena! Eleni! Oh, right. It's not Elena. It's Eleni because of the I. Or it's Elena I. Elena. Yeah, I keep thinking it's Elena for whatever reason, but yeah, it's Eleni. Or Eleni? Eleni? Uh, Eleni or Eleni? I think it's Eleni. Because that sounds better. Yeah, Eleni. Huxley, I told you not to follow me. But Miss Eleni. Oh, some gentleman from DSF. I hope she didn't bother you. Bother? She tried to kill us. A thousand pardons. Uh, a thousand humble pardons, my lords. I am Miss Elena's tutor, oh, uh, Huxley Hobbs. What a name, right? It seems as if the young miss has heard some foolish rumors. It isn't a foolish rumor. Uh, I keep calling her Elena, I think. It's <laughs> Alini. It's Alini. Anyway. Yeah, I think when I first played the game, I kept calling her Elena, too. I might just call her Elena just because I wonder if that's what they actually wanted to call her. But anyway. Uh, please, just listen to our side of the story. Some say that Magnus was playing a coup, but we never believed it. So you think something happened to him? Well, that's what we came to the island to find out. I believe you. Let's get started. Let's get started. What? Oh, <laughs> yeah. And then, like, well, one they have different things, but if you pay attention to the actual model on the map, you can see that Huxley's face is bright red. That he's super angry. I love the little details like that. Absolutely not. I won't allow it, Miss. It's my decision. Stop calling me Miss. Call me Sir. God damn it. Please, Ash, I want you to help my father. Let me come with you. Okay, let's go. Wait, there's decision points in this game? But what what decision do I make? What's the right choice? No, you're too young. No, you're too young. This is no picnic. Fine, I'll just go to Gilbaris Island myself. I guess we have to make her... Uh, I guess we have to take her now, Ash. <sighs> da, da, da. What? In that case, I shall be forced to go as well. What? We don't need an old man. Although I appear frail, I'm master of healing. You'll need my help. More party members! Yep, Elaine and Huxley permanently join the team. Uh, but yeah, Huxley's our first cleric of the game, that which will help. Now we can actually heal outside of herbs and stuff like that. Obviously, you want to keep herbs and backup. But uh, Huxley, that's where Huxley, a lot of his uh, experience is going to go, is from healing us and other spells over the course of the game. So Huxley can gain, if you do it right, Huxley can gain quite a lot of experience, uh, depending on how things pan out. Uh, 
Even the old guy's come, gonna come with us? Oh, by the way, the decision trees don't change anything. All it is is just different dialogue. If you just say we go, you come with them, then they just go, oh, okay, and that's it. There's no, like, oh, if you say this, this might anger her, and she'll lead the party. No, there's nothing like that. I don't even know why this game has decision points like that. that they don't do anything. It's not... <laughs> at least in Dragon Quest, it's sometimes humorous when you have an alternate choice, you know, because then you just get a humorous response, but the game still goes on. But in this, it's like almost no point i think there's a decision point that affects like something but it's like what it is in the battle itself like where your position at i think but other than that yeah anyway even the old guy's gonna come with us oh man yep huxley and elena oh elena is our the wizard character by the way because she built those golems and everything like that so so yeah so we get so at the same time we get a we get a cleric and we get a, a mage awesome Mages are good, really good in this game. They're probably going to be the ones that are going to, if you, if if you, if you're not careful, mages will probably gain the most experience out of your fighters because of just how convenient a lot of their spells and everything like that are. Come on, old man, tell us what you know. Whoa, he just punched that old man. Oh, yeah, you see his little avatar thing has now blood stains all over it. Although you can hardly tell that he has pupils because it looks like his eyes are completely black. But there's certain scenes where you can see the white of his eye, uh, the whites of his eyes, but it, it's I think it's the way he's either looking or something like that. But it kind of looks like he's black-eyed for the most part. It's it's kind of weird. Uh, I know nothing. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, what voice did I want to get hell spites again? Um, ah, crap. I, I don't remember. <laughs> this must be like don't lie. No, that's not the voice I want to get. Don't lie, count. As the highest ranking nobleman, you must know. Uh, fool, my my father heard you. How about that? Man, this guy's ruthless. Hey, it's not nice to mistreat old people. Dolph, what are you doing here? I thought you were working against Hell Spites. Oh, I knew you were too good to be true. Too bad our main characters don't know about this. Oh, it's you. Don't kill the old fool yet. There's still valuable information that we require. I like you. I wrong with. I like you. You're almost as evil as I. Would you like to take a crack at breaking this old man? Enough. Yeah. Enough, Kane. So, Dolph, how goes our little plan? Everything is going according, uh, going on schedule. Just to be sure, one of my people have been infiltrated in their group. What do you mean, Elena, Elena, Eleni, or Huxley? That can't be right. Can it? Good, good, good. Now we just have to wait for them to arrive at Gabarus Island. Gabarus Island? No, you mustn't. Oh, see, now you can see the whites of his eyes, and that's yeah. For whatever, I think it's just the way that they do the. Because everyone else, you can clearly see their white iris, the whites of their eyes. But for some reason, the way he they did his models, you can almost never tell. But yeah, you can you can see his eye, whites now. Not that it's a big deal. It's just. Oh, oh, I knew you could do something. Oops. Now you can tell me everything you know. Well, nuts. Dang it, Claymore. Oh, well. Now yeah, we don't know about that, so... Anyway. Okay, so the, the episode lasted a little bit longer than I expected. Oh, well. Um, yep, we got Huxley and uh, Leda in our group now. Um, now, since they're... Since their thing... Uh, since their uh, equipment isn't as big of a deal, you could technically be fine without upgrading it but i like i like a sure thing so let's go back to town before anything else oh yeah elena starts with a mage oil which makes sense because she's the mage of the group um huxley could use it but i almost never never have a, a time where i find it like necessary to have so um so i'm gonna give i definitely although i might not even use the fire gem for quite a while um give that to Huxley, I think. Technically, you probably should have a herb, but, uh... And then... I think I want to give the fire gem to... Actually, let me give... Uh, take the mad book off of you and give it to Ash. Give you the fire gem. Clint will probably... I mean, I probably won't use the fire gem for quite a while, because I tend to... I tend to hoard that stuff like it's a too-good-to-use club. You know? Um... Uh, I'll give Elena a herb. 
Just, it's always good to have a backup. Oh, do I want two herbs for this fight? I might have to. This is uh, the next fight up ahead. I mean, we won't fight that this episode, but, um, actually, oh, okay, I'll give it to, I'll give it to Diego. Uh, oops. Um, if you're lucky, you might not even have to use the, use an herb, but I really doubt it. The percentages of, of uh, you get a status effect in the next episode, or next uh, bot, uh, battle, next fight are pretty high. Um, although I've gotten lucky, I've only gotten hit once with a status effect in that fight, but uh, sometimes you can hit multiple times and be quite quite obnoxious. Um, I don't know if this... Okay, yeah, Huxley needs... Although, like I said, technically you're doing things wrong if you're having Huxley or Elena attacking things, but you can't have them do that. They they actually will do an okay amount of damage. Nothing crazy about the fighters, but... Um, I think they only do... Yeah, they only do... Um, oops. They only do the light... Or the light... Um, the, Circlets or whatever you want to call them. Those. Yeah, they use like the light armor and stuff like that. Whoops. Well, I'm, I meant to equip to the Huxley, but uh, I accidentally <laughs> chose the depot instead. Man, I'm making some mistakes today. Uh, okay, give you the robe. Switch. And then sell it. Yeah. Oh well. Why do I keep doing that? I'm making mistakes. Alright, so you... Yeah, see, it's nothing big. It's not, like, the worst thing, but... But might as well get out of the way so we don't forget it for later. Oh, boy. But anyway, with Elena Huxley on the team, our, our, our forces are ever-growing. But uh, what will lie up ahead... And who is the who is the person that Dolph was talking about in that who will enter our ranks? Find out next time. Well, actually, we won't find that out next time, but we'll find out something next time in the next episode of Vandal Hearts. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.